Don't let anybody keep walking into your house in and out. One day something is going to go missing. And some hurt is going to happen. We draw the boundaries. Who can come, who cannot come. We help them into the coming into parliament doesn't mean that they are the gods for us. Whether they are politicians or otherwise, we hold our ground. We lead the way. Because this is the way that they don't understand. If the politicians understand the book of Nehemiah, they will know exactly how the governor operates. This is a book of patterns. Change a whole nation. He was not involved in church. He was involved in upper government. He's serving the king. Are you listening? So this book is full of politics in here. What to build, what not to build, so that we can rebuild the nations. Saying amen. amen. One good leader alone is not enough. We need to pray that God will set these people free from behind the lines and nations of the nations can be taken. Papua New Guinea is Solomon Island. Papua New Guinea is overdue because the people who are connected to us are inaccurate. This is the trouble with people. For a long time, Philippines was a real trouble and a sore eye for me. Then our sons begin to rise. Yeah. We could go in and change the environment. Mm. The bishops have now concluded together that there is only one true prophetic voice. <laughs> as far as the Philippines was concerned, the prophecies we have given yeah. has kept the nation, including the, 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 the currency kept them safe and alive. You don't know how powerful the things you carry. This week, let God give you a special grace to govern in the spirit world and have the power to prevail. One more time, lift your hands, let me pray. I feel burdened because the former governors who were before me laid the burdens on the people and took bread and wine. They burdened the people, the former governors, the former regiment, regime, they call it, even though they are not military government. But these people have eaten up the future. But God is good. He is a restorer. Anything that can be redeemed can be restored. So we say a new Malaysia is beginning. A new South Africa. Yes. The spirit of violence will be out of it. Yes. There will be no more white graves, yes. black graves. The hand of God is going to give life. Yes. South Africa, come alive. Yes. Take your place in the heavens. Yes. Why should you be slow and be taken into the place of confusion after the words of prophecy? Yes. This is the end for the confusion. Yes. And those who confuse the people and corrupt the people will themselves be deceived. Yes. And they will fall into a hole that they cannot recover again. I prophesy to you, South Africa, it is time you return back to God's destiny. I call on the parliament, I call on the members of the parliament. In Jesus' name, as we stand as the Lord God stands here, is alive. And we live in his presence. We command that shall nothing will happen according to the words of the enemy. But as the Lord God lives before whom I stand, there will be neither rain nor dew except as God's word. What God say is final. He will rule over the atmosphere. He will rule over the land. When there's no rain, the skies are dry. When there's no rain, the land cannot be cultivated. And people will have to squander whatever less that they have. But God is turning to this nation. Because you were, you were born for a while in the power of the Holy Ghost and you have taken a wrong turn. This day I speak to you, South Africa. You will return to God's glory. You will return to God's path. We will not just pray for our nation. We prophesy to our nation. And we prophesy over our nation. And we say you will stand still and see the hand of God working. And there will be the right men in the right places. There will be no one who will do injustice because of color, because of race, because of ideology, and because they want to hold on to their power of popularity. I say to you, South Africa, 
take your hands off. Satan, I command you to take your hands off. Now, leave. In the name of Jesus, your power cease now. We command you to come to an end. Violence be removed. Extremely violent spirits. We say you stop the region. You stop things from happening in Africa. I say from, from Cape Town to Cairo, the Holy Spirit will fall upon the place. Speak to you, South Africa. Rise in the name of Jesus. That your life will be set free and God will extend your, your day and hour. And you bless your nation and cut off everything that will destroy the nation. You are free now. You are free now. South Africa, you are free now. You not only will have a good president, you will have a good wise president, you will have a wise cabinet and the right people will be in a place. Let the house arise now. Let the house rise in Jesus' name. Amen. Do you believe that? The devil has almost wanted to take South Africa for another war. But this is coming to an end. This is the tail end of the bad things that you see. Behold, the Lord is around. He's coming in a powerful way. Say after me, the last reformation, the, last reformation, the, final, outpouring, the final outpouring, the ultimate kingdom, the ultimate kingdom is, here to stay. is here to stay. We are the recipients of that prophecy. Of that prophecy. Building church, Building church. Birthing, Zion, birthing Zion, becoming kingdom. In Jesus' name, name. the Father's decree, decree. the Son's dominion, dominion. the Holy Spirit's demonstration, demonstration. strategic men men. of stature, stature. position in prophetic precision, precision. creating significant moves. moves. In Jesus' name, name. say, I am part part. and an important part. Integral part, part. without me, me. this thing will not be fulfilled. fulfilled. So I surrender my life to God God. in Jesus' name. name. As a wise master builder, builder. my father is building with us us. so that we can finish this assignment, assignment. bring the nations back to the kingdom king. And he rules over our nation. A new Malaysia. A new South Africa. A new Australia. A new Philippines. Indonesia. America. And every other name that I have not mentioned, you shout one, two, three, shout it out. Hallelujah. Have you put your nation in there? Japan, something is about to happen in Japan, it's going to be God's earthquake, it's going to be God's earthquake, because the devil has been trying to hide them behind religion, behind false things and cultures and of every sort and every kind, it will see the rising sun. I, I told them when I last met them, you're going to move from woe to wow. You have enough sermon for the day. If you're not hungry, are you hungry? I better qualify this. What are you hungry for? Some of you look like you haven't had your breakfast. But good to see you. Sometimes it can be a lonely place. When you walk at this level, look around, The only thing that resonates well to help you is to see it operational in the suns. So when you come back, you refresh me. So if you're not coming back for the next conference for yourself, just come for me. You don't know how much I appreciate that because it's not easy to leave family and friends and 
and your city and your comfortable beds and and the control that you lose <laughs> by coming here. Some people think I'm a dictator. I am. <laughs> I dictate to you what needs to be done. And for that reason, it's always accurate. I will be so downstruck with almost depression if I cannot get you into the place where you are supposed to be. I will literally die of guilt. So that's why I give you more than your fair share. I learned it from the Americans. When you order beef rack, the beef rack is wider than the plate. It's, it's falling out. I said, why do they, people do this? So let them know that we're not stealing your money. They're giving you more than your money's worth. More than you can eat. Some of you feel compelled to finish everything. That's why if you go to America, you will be finished. You're not supposed to eat everything. It's their gesture. When you come in Asia, eat some more. It's not a license. He's just telling you, you have to make decisions. <laughs> if full is full, whether you will stop at this level, at loin, or over your head. <laughs> but God is good to us because I know something about to happen. Yes. So I'll give you 15 minutes break.